Lisa and I met actually on eBay many years ago. This was back when you could see the other person's um, username. We bet against each other for several years on vintage fountain pens, Esther Brooks in particular. And I'm a little embarrassed and a little proud to say I cost him a lot of money. And eventually called a truce and we met for the first time in 2003 in Chicago at the Pen Show. And we actually got married in 2010 at the Pen Show in Chicago. I became interested in fountain pens back in high school, and I won't tell you how many years ago that was. When I first got my first fountain pen, I was amazed at the history behind the item and how I could write with something that somebody wrote with 50, 70, 100 years ago. Our store in Appleton is far more successful than we ever thought that it would be. And it has become a destination, especially in the summer, for people from states away. You can walk in, you can talk to a real live pen person, you can hold a writing instrument in your hand, you can see the ink swab, you can look at the paper, feel the paper, test the paper. Uh, you can do all these things that you can't do shopping online. And just like we bring the pen store to customers at pen shows, um, we decided that why not kind of expand on that and open a second store. Planning the new store has been a real adventure. Uh, Lisa and I have been challenged the entire time. I think in some ways I wouldn't trade it for anything, and in other ways there are days I wish we'd never started. Um, but overall, I think it's been fun, and we've done it all together. Hey, Lisa. Oh, God. <laughs> what? What do you get when Papa Smurf walks across your yard? A headache? <laughs> Blueprints! Like term goes here, and then the rest of this wall is paper? It's all paper. Okay. So I think we should use this for the flooring. What do you think? I think no. <laughs> What's wrong no. with this? Where's my no button? This is nice. And over here is oh. going to be the ink wall. Ta-da! We're going to have lots of great stuff in here. We've got uh, Mont Blanc, Sailor, going to be over here. Right out front. Right out front. We've got Lamy right next to the cash register. So what are you thinking for walls? White. I think white with the white is going to be yeah. some uh, Namiki over here. We'll have some uh, Pilot, some Platinum, some Graffon Faber Castell maybe over here. So we get the white floor, crisp white beautiful tile, and blue walls. We'll have some pens there and we'll have uh, ink books over there. Well this is a, a large project and there are a lot of variables involved. And as such, it's uh, very difficult to estimate, but we think uh, mid-April will be the, the opening date. In the Chicago store, we will carry almost everything that we carry online in Appleton. The Chicago store will be brick and mortar only. All online sales will continue to go through the Appleton location. The Chicago store will be about two-thirds the size of the Appleton store. Um, so it will be about 1,000 square feet. Uh, we consider that it's um, small enough to be cozy, but large enough to be comfortable. The store hours are currently being worked out, but what I can tell you is we will be open seven days a week, so anybody visiting the city can come down and see us even Saturdays and Sundays. I think that we bring passion and, and experience to the store and to um, the Penn community in general. Our new store is gonna be located in the Palmer House Hilton, right downtown Chicago. 17 East Monroe and uh, Wabash. We're gonna be located on the ground floor of the Palmer House, right across from the Starbucks. Anderson, Anderson Penn's, Penn's Chicago. Chicago.